What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for uh, my Staccato. I just got my Staccato P back from Vulcan Machine Works. So uh, this is kind of just a very unexpected video. I didn't even know it was coming today. Um, they ended up overnighting it to me. So it's kind of just a random video. I actually was going to plan to make a video of my competitor this week, but it never, uh, I was waiting on, I actually sent it out unexpectedly to get the barrel ported so instead i'm going to be doing this unboxing today i just have it over here right now just because it's got my personal information on it so let me uh get it uh, at least open from the actual ups uh box and then we will take a look at what's inside and i'll talk about some of the upgrades all right so i got it out of the package um uh, i really apologize i'm trying to get a much better see if we can get a little bit further under there um, I got an adjustable GoPro mount however it is still a little bit something you know something to really mess with oh my gosh oh my gosh it looks amazing so I ended up getting the um, RMR plate wow they really cut that really deep in there wow okay that's like insanely you can see even with the plate and it's got a pretty hefty plate on there look how deep it is in there sorry i'm seeing it first time for myself as well so i'm very excited that is the point of what we're after though let me see if i can get a little bit more light Let's see i'm trying to okay so you can see they do a really nice porting system there. Let me see, I'm trying to really get in there for you guys. And I, it's really hard to see how it looks off of my um, uh, camera too, because the lens is so small. So, all right, and look, there we go. So there's three showing, there's four total, but there's three showing right there. Wow, guys, I can I cannot say I'm I'm just astounded. It looks really really nice. The barrel porting is extremely clean on that. Look at that, and the actual system on top is just beautiful. This looks amazing right there. So, wow, long time since I felt that. Ooh, nice trigger job. That is. I mean, it's supposed to be three pounds. That's what they said the lightest Vulcan will go. That, it feels insanely light. It feels like a lot of the creep they did, they took it out of there too. So yeah, yeah, by far. So this is pretty amazing. I am going to mount a Trigicon SRO on this guy and we will be back. So this is just a short thing. So just to recap, all I had them do is a trigger job. They re dlc the barrel, which the that looks amazing. They did new sights that came with the plate. Um, and it looks like they gave me back some of my original items. So they gave me back my trigger, my adjustable sights. This is the cap for the threaded barrel hover. Um, can't have those currently where I live anymore. So it's not like that really matters. And I had them actually, um, instead of flush fit, it cut, well, instead of crowning the barrel, I had them flush cut it. So you can see, right? And you can see in there that they flush cut it. Oh my God, it looks so good. I am extremely happy with this. And um, yeah, stay tuned. I will be back with uh, update with the SRO on it. All right guys, so this is the end result. Obviously we're clear. Trigicon SRO, this I'm gonna be running it. Let's see, there's the dot. Sights look good. Um, Surefire, this is it. So. Now off to the range. I'll give some feedback after we shoot it. Um, I did not oil it or anything. We're just going to run it and see how it runs. So thanks for watching. All right guys, so here's the after the range report. I put it in the sink, full disclosure, because I have excellent lighting above my kitchen sink. So just wanted to give you guys a look. Obviously the weapon is clear, but so I did, just so um, you guys have some, some in, uh, I guess, insight, um, about 250, between 250 to 300, I kind of lost count. I was having too much fun shooting. 
Um, I'd say let's say 275 for rounds. Um, put through the gun. Um, the only thing I notice is after about you know getting close at three mark, the frame starts to heat up, and then you know that actually heats up the trigger and everything. So that was starting to get pretty hot. Um, other than that, uh, gun was really really um, had no malfunctions. One, all I shot was 115 grain. So I've had a couple guns compensated, reported. One huge issue. Um, and something you should look into before you ever do anything like that is making sure that you don't need to change out any spring weights because that can render your gun very, very unreliable. However, with this, I did not have any issues. There was not, I didn't notice any blowback. Um, I didn't get any videos of myself shooting the gun, but I did get one of the workers uh, who was there. He actually started shooting and I took a quick video just so you guys can see it. I have... Um, some pictures of uh, I did just a couple groupings of double taps, but um, They're all really really good. I am not a very very, you know competitive shooter or anything like that I'm very much a pretty much a, a little bit above an amateur um, Definitely not good by any means. I mean the gun is Fantastic, so I will install a picture so you can see some of the groups that I did and also I just did one for double taps just because I was really just trying to run through the gun I will mainly um, wanted to get the range in just so that way we could make sure that the the gun was reliable no complaints from me whatsoever uh, the gun was super super reliable um, no malfunctions every lock every slide locked back only shooting 115 grain the only thing i did notice was from the barrel with the sro and since it's so close there you can see um, to the chamber where it exits i did start to get about 300 rounds in in the front of it i started to get some soot or i guess not soot but um just the actual um you know the the black powder that you clean off of the barrel when the gun gets dirty i forget it's like that spent propellant or whatever um that's in the cartridge so i got quite a bit of that um and a little bit on the front of the actual x300 turbo that i got but not a whole lot um up top I did clean it off a little bit just on the actual slide. I didn't clean the barrel any. It doesn't really get as dirty as I thought it would. So I'm very happy with that. Um, all in all, um, 10 out of 10 do um, recommend for the price. I got a really, really good trigger. Um, got an optic cut and it's well worth it. So I will continue to do updates again today. I put about 300 rounds. I was gonna do more gun really started heating up um, and I didn't have you know, I didn't bring anything else with me. I mean, a lot of guns do get hot too, as you, you know, run 300 rounds through them, you know, back to back to back to back. You know, I had, you know, six magazines there. So I was running through it pretty quickly. Um, and, uh, but it just, you know, started to get hot. I started to run low on time. Uh, so there is my update for this. Um, we'll do several. I plan to, again, we're about 300 rounds in. Um, probably going to do one another 1,000 round mark, probably one at 2,500 mark, one at 5,000. We'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and, um, you know, be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see.